sits down with the band Churches. We take a trip to Japan and look at all their Star Wars stuff and much, much more. Now, from the Lucasfilm headquarters, it's the Star Wars Show. Hello, I'm Peter Townley. And I'm Andy Gutierrez. Welcome to the Star Wars Show, your weekly look at Star Wars from inside the heart of Lucasfilm's old copy room. But it makes an excellent looking set. Mm -hmm. News transition. If you saw The Force Awakens, which if you're watching this, you probably have multiple times, or if you read Claudia Gray's book Lost Stars, you probably know of the Imperial Star Destroyer known as the Inflictor. For reference, that's one of the Star Destroyers that crashed on Jakku that Rey speeds past in the opening of the film. Well, we here on the Star Wars show are proud to reveal for the first time what its mm -hmm. Captain Sainari actually looks like. You ready? Here she is! She's got so much attitude in that picture, I love it. The image was created as part of Fantasy Flight Games' Star Wars X-Wing Miniatures game. Ooh, you like that one. I love it. And speaking of games, Star Wars Celebration London announced yesterday that this summer's event will be the largest ever for Star Wars gaming in its history. So confirmed for the show are LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens, Star Wars Battlefront, Star Wars The Old Republic, Star Wars Commander, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and Star Wars Force Collection. It's a lot of Star Wars. Yeah. And if you think you have what it takes to work in the art department at ILM, you only have until 9.59 Pacific tonight to register for the ILM Art Department Challenge. The challenge, judged by a panel of top artists from Lucasfilm and Industrial Light & Magic, runs from now until August 1st. But you can't participate unless you register. For more information, visit ArtStation.com. And for more Star Wars news, check out StarWars.com. And stick around, more Star Wars show coming up in a Star Wars second. Star Wars. <laughs> Hey, I'm Jeremy Sonier. Hi, I'm Anton Yelchin. We're here promoting Green Room at ILM. You're watching the Star Wars show. Is that what we're doing? That's what we're doing. You think that'll hurt my chances of getting, like... To direct Star Wars? Asked to do some kind of franchise work? I'm looking forward to just being in one of the Star Wars movies. There's a lot from what I can tell. Dude, not that's in any a conflict. Them. You're Star Trek. I can be in both. JJ can make both. I can be in both, right? <laughs> Welcome back to the Star Wars show. I am here with Churches, who took some time off from their busy schedule to visit us here and talk about some Star Wars. How's Hello. it going, guys? Really good. It's good. We're very excited because we get to be in this building. Feels like we're kind of in the Death Star. Or like a little bit. Yeah. So you guys just came off of a really exciting weekend at Coachella. How was that? We did. That was absolutely dusty. mad. Yeah. Dusty. Yeah, it, was dusty. it was very dusty. A friend of ours made the point that uh, Palm Desert kind of looks like a really well-developed Tatooine. Yeah. With like fancy cars and kind of... Golf courses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <But> Golf course. <laughs> you know, if the moisture farming <laughs> business really takes off, yeah, we could turn it into... Yeah. Get some grass on the go. Yeah, they're yeah. like... Tattooing is so commercial these days, man. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> what is this? It used to be. The golf course, they've got a music festival here now. Yeah. It's, it's like, not the same. Nah. So I know you guys make a lot of Star Wars banter on stage. I've been, I've been spotting more and more Star Wars t-shirts at our shows. That's like, good. I, think, I don't know what it is. Maybe because we talk about Star Wars a lot then. But it could be because of your Jawa impression, which is really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's good. You had a Halloween costume once. <laughs> not did. a sexy Jawa. It was sexy not se Jawa. Well, because this is the thing that upset me when I was like looking for female Star Wars character costumes. It was always like sexy this and sexy that, and I was like, I don't want to be a sexy Ewok. I just want to be <laughs> an sexy Ewok. Jabba. So I made a Jawa costume, which was kind of like a brown monk's cloak and like a cowboy gun belt. And it was like a super soaker gun, but I spray painted it black. Nice. Uh, and it was like a black, uh, well, hockey mask that I spray painted black and kind of stuck light up bike lights on it. Smart. And then I just put like face paint on here so I could technically see out of the eye holes and the other eyes were above my head. That's and good. It was, it was quite impressive. Costume. Let's talk of Force Awakens. Like, what were your impressions of it when you saw it? I thought it was incredible. And all the parallels are cool, but I hope that Ray isn't related to either a Kenobi or a Skywalker. But it won't be narratively satisfying if you just say it was just some random, random how people. Do you, how can you say that? that? You know. This is what a lot of the afternoons and venues look like. 
It's like if, it, if she was a Skywalker, yes. But I feel like that would tie the whole series I'm, I'm with together. You. I, hope was like I hope she's a nobody. I don't know, obviously, but that's what I'm like. That's, that's I'm what at. I'm hoping for. Yeah, definitely not a two-dimensional character. And she's strong enough to carry Mark Hamill. Her Instagram yeah. is really amazing because she, I think she posts loads of stuff that like you know young people who are following her will find really interesting and useful. And she's <laughs> a badass. Like when you've watched her training like videos, like yeah. I'm like, oh, man, I need to, I need to do that. Text back. Text back, Daisy. Text back. <laughs> I don't know. You texting Daisy? No, I've never done that. You guys at home, check out Churches, their new album, Every Open Eye, is available on shelves right now. If you listen to it backwards, it tells you who Ray, Ray's parents are. <sighs> <laughs> Spoiler. Hey guys, Anthony Carboni here in Japan, in Tokyo, in a store right now called Starcase, which is just completely devoted to Star Wars collectibles and memorabilia. And I have found some of the craziest Star Wars stuff I have ever seen in my life. These are Egg Force figures. They transform into eggs because Star Wars. Throwing out everything in my kitchen. I have new things now. They love pencil cases here. Can't get enough pencil cases. Look at these chopsticks. What do you want, Luke Skywalker? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you mean Jedi Luke? <laughs> I literally had to buy a new suitcase to bring all of the stuff that I found home. But on the bright side, I did pick up some stuff for you guys back in the studio, so enjoy the care package. Your hair was different in that interview. It was a special edition. Oh, yeah. that explains Oh, look! Presents from Japan! Oh, hey, speaking <laughs> of, does the mouse droid have a name yet? It does. After tons of humorous suggestions like Mon Mousma, Mouse Isley, Mouse Winu, Mouse Kanata, and seemingly hundreds of people suggesting Mickey. Mm. Yeah, little on the nose. We all agreed on the cute yet Star Warsy name CH-33Z, or Cheese, suggested by the appropriately named Story Droid on Twitter. Which brings us to an awesome little reminder. Next week is the 39th anniversary of the release of Star Wars. Woo! So we want to see your Star Wars birthday cakes. We're looking for the incredible to the hilariously terrible. Send them to at Star Wars on Twitter using the hashtag Star Wars Show Cake and we'll reveal our favorites next week. And now if you'll excuse us, we've got to go play with some toys. It's very serious business. We'll see you next week. Ooh! Ray, I'm gonna kick your butt. Welcome to episode one of the Star Wars show. Which means it'll probably be divisive, but everyone's gonna love it by the fourth episode. Hopefully. Every week we'll be discussing all things Star Wars, from the latest happenings across the franchise to fan events you couldn't make it to and geeking out with celebrities 